Well, his name has been notorious in Niagara County for 30 years as William Shrubzel. He is back behind bars in an American jail tonight after being deported from Canada. Dave McKinley is live in Niagara County with more on today's court proceedings and what Shrubzel now faces. Dave. Well, the Niagara County DA made note that the defendant here isn't going anywhere anytime soon. And a judge in the Niagara County Courthouse behind me here made sure of that today. Now 22 years older and considerably heavier than when last seen in these parts, Shrubsall, who has legally changed his name to Ethan McLeod, was ordered by Justice Richard Clock to immediately begin serving the two and a third to seven years he was given for a sex abuse conviction for which he was sentenced in absentia when he fled during his 1996 Niagara County trial. He ended up in Canada, where he was sentenced to 20 years for several violent attacks on women there before being paroled and then recently deported back to the U.S. Shrubsall also faces an additional count of bail jumping for which he could also serve serve seven years. Prosecutors aim to keep him behind bars for as long as they can. We are certainly going to push for consecutive sentencing. It should be consecutive sentencing. Um, his sexual assault of a, a woman is wholly different than um, jumping bail uh, during the pendency of that case. Wotasek says she sides with Canadian authorities who found Shrubsall to be a dangerous individual and a predator likely to repeat his offenses. Shrubsall, of course, first gained notoriety uh, for the baseball bat beating death of his mother in 1988 on the very day he was scheduled to deliver the valedictory address to his classmates at LaSalle High School. We'll have a look back at that and more tonight at 6. For now, reporting live in Niagara County, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.